In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pre-register people, basically create tickets for people ahead of time manually. This saves people from having to register and fill in a form each time they want to get tickets to an event. Um, and it's very helpful, especially if you're just trying to keep capacity limits um, for public ticketing. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to people and then go to contacts. I'm in the contact list here at the moment. I'm going to choose the people that I want to create tickets for. Um, I could have searched or filtered to get a smaller list, but basically these are the four people that I want to create tickets for. Um, and you'll see on the right hand side, I get options. Here I can choose add four to event guest list. And I can now click up here and choose the upcoming events. Uh, these can be the events that I want to add them to. And I have a few different options. I can either add them to the expected list, which means that we'll know if they were absent if they didn't check in. Um, that's really what the expected list is mainly for, or we can send notifications out to them, you know, five days before the event saying, hey, we're looking forward to seeing you here, things like that. I can tick them as confirmed RSVP, if they've told me that they're definitely coming. Um, I can tick them as declined, if they've told me that they're not coming. And I can also click create tickets. And then here I can choose from the drop down of which tickets uh, are available for those events. And there's just a, a standard ticket, that's pretty much it. We haven't actually defined any particular ticket types. So uh, now I've chosen all of that, I can click add three to events. And you'll see down here, I've got my little uh, batch uh, process progress bar happening. And now those people have been added to those events. And if I go to the events, I will be able to, I can't actually remember which events I added them to, but it looks like it was these ones. Um, I can click this event and go to the guest list and I should be able to see those people there and they have tickets. Um, another common thing that you might wanna do is let's say you've got a number of people on your team. So uh, at the moment we've got uh, Kay Douglas uh, is being rostered on as a fisherman <laughs> at this event. Um, if I tap these three dots over here on the event, so I'm on the event list page now, um, I can go down and click add contacts to guest list, which is basically the opposite direction um, before we were on the people list page and we're selecting the people and then choosing the events we want to add tickets for. Um, you can also do it around this way where you can select the events and then choose the people that you want to add to these events. So um, both ways work. They're both very, very similar, almost exactly the same. But what I want to do is uh, I actually want to just, let's say we had 15 people on the team. Um, I just want to create tickets for all of those team members so that they have a ticket. Um, they don't have to register. We've already know that they're they're on the team. So I'm just going to tap the three dots here, scroll down and choose uh, under the change selection uh, area. I'm going to choose select rostered contacts. And what that will do is it'll spin around. And now instead of highlighting that I've got the event, I now have the contacts uh, selected. And we can just do the same thing we did before where we can click add to event guest list. And we can choose you know the events that we want to mark them for, which is probably the event that we just picked and choose the ticket and so forth. Um, that's how you can create tickets for people ahead of time um, in bulk.